First question is from Ms. Denise Morales. When should you use a resistance band? During weight training, or will it benefit more to use it when you're priming your body? Yeah, both. Uh, resistance bands are extremely versatile, valuable ways of changing workouts, adding variable resistance, priming your body. Mm. You know, what's funny about resistance bands is they were not really considered, um, you know, like a serious exercise tool for a long time. And then you saw strength athletes really start to use them. I can't remember which yeah. powerlifting group did it. I think it was Westside Barbell. Were they the ones really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know the Soviets uh, used well, them yeah, Soviets and did studies. Them. That's um, where they got it from. That's where they got it from, yeah, right? Yeah. And, and then you got strength athletes started using them, and they started crushing in competitions. And you know, initially, bands were like considered kind of wimpy, but it's hard to do that when you got guys and girls squatting and lifting as much as they did. Next thing you know, people started using them. I started using them myself uh, as variable resistance with squats and deadlifts, love them, and then use them for trigger sessions. Absolutely love them. And now a week doesn't go by that I don't use resistance bands. So I think they're extremely valuable. And one of the reasons why they're so valuable is their resistance gets harder as you stretch them out, which is mm -hmm. very different than what you'll experience with weights. Yeah, I think you need to explain machines. variable resistance for the the listeners to understand. Well, what so if is. I have a if I have a band I'm doing a overhead press with. I may start here at 40 pounds, but as I stretch it out, it gets much harder. Now, the cool thing about this is as my arm extends, I tend to get stronger as well. So the resistance matches how my strength tends to express itself. So it's like I get more resistance right when I get stronger, which is kind of cool. And it's the opposite of what happens when you have a barbell or a dumbbell. Yeah. As you get barbell and a dumbbell, as you get closer to the end of the movement, it's much easier than what it is at the very yeah, beginning. Because the weight stays the same. Right. Mm -hmm. Or with the free weight, because it's working against gravity, you know, if I'm doing a, a preacher curl, it's heavy down here, but when I'm up here, it's not heavy at all because I'm just supported by my elbow. Whereas with the resistance band, it's always challenging. Do I think they can replace weights? No, but I think in addition to extremely valuable. So, I mean, especially for priming, it's one of my favorite things to use them for. Well, yeah, and I think part of the case that we make for priming is that, because uh, it's not that you can't prime with a machine or dumbbells or barbells, but you're you're more likely to get sore or do da damage by doing that. And the idea of priming is to basically kind of neurologically wake up yeah. a dormant mm -hmm. area, pump some blood. You're not trying to tear or break down really. And so bands are great for that because they don't do as much damage. So I see it, it's great to complement for the, the variable resistance that you're talking about. So it goes good with weight training. And then it also makes for a great tool for like on the go. Because, I mean, our little band kit that we have has, I mean, everything you need in this little pouch has it to where you can hook it up to a door, all the different band resistance. And I can get a great little workout in a hotel room real quick. And so when you when it's convenient, I think it's nice for that. And again, like we talk about other things on the show where here's an area where instead of programming, you know, resistance band workout for a week or two weeks, or I just let it happen naturally. If, naturally, there's going to be a time where I'm on the go or traveling or it's convenient just to do bands. And so I intermittently throw that into my training routine. Yeah. Speaking of the prime, I mean, I think sometimes it is helpful uh, for people to to be able to connect more when you're actually like, um, you know, it, you have a tool that helps you to kind of fight against the resistance of it instead of creating that muscle contraction yourself. It's kind of a hard concept for people a lot of times to be able to squeeze and contract their muscles and and, and get that kind of blood flow just, just you know, with, with their body weight and without any kind of like tool to kind of aid with that. So sometimes I feel, you know, rubber bands, provide a nice uh, amount of resistance when you set it up to uh, kind of take your joint through full range, but keeping that nice, consistent contraction, um, you know, to focus on with that too. But uh, in terms of performance, it's, it's one of those things, if you start adding that in and you're really focus like on your power lift numbers or, uh, you know, kind of getting over that hump of a plateau that you always hit. It's such a, a valuable tool to add to, um, kind of get you to, to hit those, um, you know, those certain points, uh, with, with a bit more strength, that's not going to damage quite as yeah, much. Yeah. It's, if you consider how little space they take up and the fact that you can literally create resistance in any direction. So I can make resistance going down, diagonal, I could rotate, of course, going up. If you consider those things, they're one of the most versatile tools you could use. And I'll give you an example of how you would use it for bodybuilding or body sculpting or whatever you want to call it, right? Let's say I'm doing a dumbbell fly, 
great exercise, right? Great isolation exercise for the chest. At the bottom of a dumbbell fly is where I'm feeling most of the resistance. As I come up towards the top, even if I have 35 pound dumbbells on my hands, the resistance against my chest gets much lighter because gravity is not pulling sideways, it's pulling down. So up here, there's really none. Mm -hmm. How can I use bands to augment that exercise so that I feel lots of resistance at the squeeze? Well, what I could do is I could attach a band around my wrist or the dumbbell and attach them out. So now at the bottom, I have the full weight of the dumbbells, but as I come up, now I'm engaging the resistance of the bands and then here at the squeeze, I have lots of resistance with the band. So extremely valuable and it's literally limitless in terms of creativity. Here's another way that I use them. In fact, the first time Adam and I worked out together years ago when we first met, mm -hmm. uh, I did this, we were doing a deadlift workout. Mm -hmm. And in order to help lock out something that I did with the bands is I attached them to the bar and I attached them to the cage, which is in front of me. So when I stand up with the bar, the bands are pulling down, but also away from me. So it encouraged me to pull back and kind of create this lockout. You know, the, the first time I really saw their value, back when I grand opened uh, Santa Teresa, 24 Hour Fitness, they, the cardio area was open first. The weights and machines weren't open, but we were selling memberships and selling personal training. So all my trainers use bands. And what was crazy was, and I remember we had these meetings and it was like, okay, people may complain, make sure you give them a good workout, explain the benefits. Literally within a week, all the members who were training with trainers were enjoyed working out with bands more than they did with other equipment. They loved it. They absolutely loved it to the point where when we had a full gym, you could see the trainer still incorporated bands in almost every single workout. So they feel good. They do. I always feel good after I do a band workout. 